Welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to build this blacksmith design. It is a new design and a new style I came up with and I really like it. I hope you do so as well. If I get a good positive feedback on this video I will probably make more videos about this style so that we have a little bit of variation to the typical Kharkiv buildings. But whatsoever. The dimensions of this building are as follows. It is 15 blocks long and 14 blocks wide at the base, so just the blocks that directly touch the ground. And if you calculate with the roof and the overhanging elements, you have a length of 19 blocks and then it is 16 blocks wide. Here's also a list of materials that you'll need um, for building it in survival mode. And with that, I covered everything, so let's just start. I'm going to start by placing the two stone brick blocks that define the entrance of the building. So this is where the doorway is going to be. And the first thing I want to do is to make the first layer of the outer walls once around the build so that you get a better, uh, better impression of the total size of the building. So I want to add two more stone brick blocks here. Then start with the first corner being a cobblestone block here. Two more stone brick blocks, one log, two stone bricks, and then once again a cobblestone corner, three stone brick blocks here, and then I want to take logs and place one here, leave one free, one here, one free, one here, with stone brick blo blocks in, in the gaps, three stone brick blocks here, and then the same thing we did on the other side, so cobblestone blocks here, pull, and so on, until we reach this point where I want to place five stone brick blocks and one log here. And now let's work our way up to the second story, First of all, what I want to do for that is to make a double pillar of logs and in total it should be five blocks high. And then I'm going to take stone brick stairs and place two of them regularly here and at the fifth block up here, place them upside down. And what I want to do in the following by taking cobblestone walls, placing three of them here, one cobblestone block on top and two stone brick top slabs is that these corners are kind of roundish shaped. Um, this is what I kind of use at a lot of towers that I did, but never before used it at a, bil at a, at a building. But it, I think it makes a pretty nice impression. Uh, it's simply to get the edginess away from those edges, which kind of makes not too much sense, but never mind. So do the same thing here. For this side, I sim I'm simply gonna add those three stone brick blocks on each side, three as well logs right here, and then I want to make two sideway logs like this, and place two stone brick stairs up here. So much for this side. Here I'm gonna do it as follows. So first of all, I'm gonna place two more logs on these outer ones, five more here, and at this point Part, it's simply gonna be a row of stone brick blocks and I, I would simply want to bring in a pattern here because if this was the wall it would be too plain for my for my taste so what I'm gonna do is to take uh, stone brick stairs delete those two blocks and place one upside down and one regularly and now I'm gonna do the same thing here just the other way around so upside down stone, stone brick stairs up here and the regular one there so that you get this pattern and I'll do the same thing here and then the other way on the outside right here. This, whoop, like this and then it's simply a stone brick block here, two on top here, two on top here, one here and two up there. Like this and now I'm simply gonna time lapse this corner because it's the same thing. Okay, and this second side is pretty much easy in comparison to the other one, so first of all, let's do these four blocks right here. These uh, 12 blocks right here can all be filled in by stone bricks, we're gonna decorate this later on. Then it's five lo logs, four like this, one sticking out to the outside with an overhang of one block like this. And at the side of the doorway we're gonna do the same thing we did on the other side, so first of all, to this side, it's one uh, upside down stone brick stair, one regularly, 
one regular, one upside down, and these blocks are all stone brick again. Whoops, no. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you need to place those three logs right here. Right here. And what I want to show you now is where the kind of pre-roof, this kind of shed is going to be. So from one block from this corner right here, it's one block here, then go diagonal one block, leave one more free, and then one more, so that you have these two blocks right here between them. Then leave three blocks free, place another one, and then the same thing we did on the other side, so those two free one diagonal so that it's right one uh, one block away from this block from the door. So we need to make two more things before going or moving on to the second floor which will be first of all to add three logs on top of these pillars so that they are four blocks high and then I want to make a furnace right here. For that I want to take stone brick stairs and start at this block so leave one block free from this log and then place two stone brick stairs right here, leave one block free, do the same thing here. Take stone brick blocks and place them behind them. With one stone brick stair here, same thing on the other side, just facing another direction. And one right here, and then I want to go up six blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then do the same, th same height on these three more blocks, like this. I'm simply gonna add the chimney now because it makes it easier when we're building the roof. So I'm gonna take stone brick stairs and whoops, place just one random block in the middle and place top, uh, we'll place upside down stone brick stairs once around here. Four cobblestone walls on top and then simply slabs on top of it. Of course, you could also go for another chimney design, which is using stone brick stairs on the outside and then one slab right here. This is a little bit higher and looks a little bit, in my opinion, fancier, but I prefer this simple look since it's a simple blacksmith, so he can't afford much. It has just to be functional. Okay, now let's move on to the second floor. First of all, what we want to do for that is to take logs and place two of them on these outer top slabs right here. And then from here, whoops, from here we're going to start build, making our way to the rooftop in this kind of stairy shape. Of course, the same thing is going to happen on the other side. I'm going to place one more lock here and two sideways locks to the outside. And here what I want to do is to place one stone brick stair facing this direction, then turn it into a corner stair, and then place another corner stair right here, simply facing another direction, and then one log right here. The same thing is going to be done on this side, so those two. And then let's go up in a stairy, in a staircasey way. I think I just invented a new word, which is amazing. I'm, I'm going to patent that. If somebody works at a place where you can get a patent for certain words, then um, please yeah, staircasing is now officially my word. If anybody uses it, I'm gonna get 50,000 pounds. Hooray! You just did it. Frank, you just did it. Okay, enough screwing around. Okay, uh, so d do the same thing right here, only this time you continue building the logs, the sideway logs, up until you hit the chimney. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, where we staircase our way up here. And here, of course, the same. And then on this side, we're going to do this all the way across to the other side. And here I want to place one block sticking out, so one sideway log here, so at the very end of this row. And then one here at the fifth block from this middle one, this middle row. And that's so much for the preparations for the roof, except for that I want to take I want to kind of make a reinforced look to the roof so that it looks a little more rustic. And what I'm going to do for that is to add these logs right here. Don't, don't worry, it will look better when once the roof is added. And I'm going to add one more block here and one more, whoops, sorry, 
First of all, let's do the same thing here. Let's staircase our way up here. Staircasing my way up. And then one block here to the inside. And one block here. And then we're gonna look for this exact middle, which is the block right next to the chimney, right here. And then we're gonna staircase our way up here. Just as we did before. And down here. All right, and now it's time to add the roof. And for the roof on this side, I'm gonna start by placing spruce wood planks. Two of them right here, I forgot this one right here. I'm simply gonna add it like here. And the only thing you have to keep in mind is that you place an upside down spruce wood stair right here and up here it's the same, so a regular roof shape. And then to the outside, it's spruce wood slabs, like this. And I want to place cobblestone walls on top of these, like here. And what you can get an impression of, I'm going to do this on this side, and then I'm going to speed it up a little bit, simply save us some more time. So slabs right here, and spruce wood planks here. All right. Uh, the reason why I placed these blocks, not all these these logs, not right here, so that it's in one row, but it's one block set more to the inside, is that if you look here, it once again makes a kind of curved look. It adds a kind of curved look to the roof. And this, in addition with this curve, these curves, curved corners down here, makes a really nice impression. So you lose this totally edginess, this blockiness. Is edginess a word? If, if not, I'm going to get a patent for that as well. Write that down, person working at the patent store, whatever. Okay, and now I'm simply gonna speed up the rest for you. Slow motion talking while speeding up the video. Must sound pretty stupid. And also must sound really weird for my neighbors. May God have mercy on their souls. So there's nothing to add to this side, but on this side I want to add another window right here. So I kind of screwed up right here. So what you need to do is to place two more slabs from this point on, from this log sticking out. And there's gonna be the window here, and for that, I'm first of all gonna start a kind of supporting element down here, which will contain of two upside down stone brick stairs to each side of this uh, overhanging block. Then one regular slab, and then I'm gonna go inside and place two stone brick blocks right here. And then two stone brick more uh, blocks on top, one here. And we're gonna get rid of this. Place one stone brick block here, and then we can get rid of these. That was a little bit too much right now. So then we're gonna take stairs and simply place them like this, so that the end of the roof is at the same time at the end of this roof section right here. Add another slab here, and then. Uh, let's simply continue the roof right here, so let's fuse this. F roof fusion activated. Brop. Planks down here. And at this one. And the same thing on this side as well, so this is pretty much the same thing that we did. Alright. Now for the roof endings, what I want to do is to place two stairs like this here, and then simply two slabs. And on these ones, I want to start with one, um, well, one stair being upside down, and then two in uh, in the back of them, uh, in the back of this one uh, facing to the outside. Same thing here. So first of all, I'm going to start with an upside down one and two placed from the inside to the outside like this. And the rest is simply going to be 
more planks and more planks right here. All right. Now, what we want to do right here is to fill in any material that you like for the second floor. I tried using um, the, the light wood, the, the kind of yellowish wood, which looks amazing. Then it makes a pretty nice companion for Frank, the other house design I had, another house tutorial I had a while back. Um, you can see it right here. It kind of fits the style, but I'm going to use simple white wool and no clay blocks because clay blocks still are simply too smooth to being um, for being the surface of a house at least in my opinion okay and now we're gonna add the roof so that the blacksmith can forge outside here without getting wet or having rain dropped on him and for this roof I'm gonna take first of all slabs and place them like this so starting at this pillar Place two like here, one there, one there, here, there, 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 there. So that we have two blocks in this row, two blocks here, one here and one there. Then we're gonna have those five blocks here. And then the same thing in the other way, like this, whoops, this. <laughs> Then it's spruce wood planks, and this will simply be like this once all around, so that you have always one connected row of the spruce wood planks, and this one row additionally right here in front of it. And then the rest is gonna be slabs again. Alright, then what I wanna do Additionally is to, of course, put a bot button, what I just used to do, a stone button in front of all of these logs. Then I want to add a kind of reinforcement down here, so I'm taking stone, uh, cobblestone blocks, two upside down cobblestone stairs and a cobblestone wall, so that these logs are covered, so that the, there's more stone in the building and less wood. And then as windows I'm gonna use fences or pretty much as, as bars because this design usually I fill in windows but as, as it was quite unusual to have w real windows in medieval times and this is simply a simple blacksmith and another style I'm gonna use the, um, the, the fences simply to uh, be a little more authentic on this end. And there's another button right here. And for this forge, what you can do is to make a breakthrough so that you can access it from both inside and outside, which has a great benefit of, first of all, you can forge or you can melt all the kind of metal and heat up your, your tools and the, the raw metal that you need to work with. And at the same time, it will heat the inside of the building in the winter time. Which is a nice thing. And what I just noticed what was that there were two blocks missing right here at the chimney. Let me quickly do that. All right. And then the last thing I want to do, and then this build is pretty much complete, is to add regular slabs. One here. Two here, one there. Over here it's going to be a little bit like an archway, at least a little bit. And then the same thing here, so one here, two here, one there. And that's it. One last thing I want to mention is that you should be careful when placing fire, because, pl well, playing with fire is always dangerous, kids. Listen to your mom or your dad. Uh, but also I didn't quite check out if the build was fireproof, so make sure that you have a backup of the building or that you have a fire protection plugin installed on your server, and then you should be relatively safe. But yeah, with that there's nothing pretty much left to, for, to say for me, but I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you like this design. Please post a comment if you would like more buildings of this, of this kind of building style so that we have a little bit of variation to the otherwise typical 
Kargith or Madness 64 buildings, whatever. And yeah, with that, there's nothing left to say for me, but after Madness 64, and as always, please rate, comment, subscribe, join the crew, come and make today, do as you will, and hopefully see you next time. Bye-bye. Actually, that was fun. <laughs>